students hope you all are fine and taking care of yourselves during this covid-19 crisis be safe be positive the topic we are going to discuss today is article writing article writing what is an article writing it is a non fictional writing non fictional by non fictional i mean realistic we have to write our own ideas and we have to write our own thoughts so we should be real in our writing we don't have to copy from here and there or from anywhere and it discusses incidents discusses themes social concerns so any article will be written either on incidents or on certain themes or social concerns so what is article writing it is a non fictional writing and it discusses incidents themes or any particular topic and social concerns now i tell you about the format of the article writing format it consists of three parts the first part is the heading here you have to write the heading or we can say title okay it should be catchy by catchy i mean attractive and it should not be in more than 5 to 6 words it should be catchy means attractive and it should not be in more than 5 to 6 words 5 to 6 words so always write the heading very short and the next is byline byline it will come right after the heading the line that follows the heading and it will contain the writer's name writer's name the person who is writing the article so these two heading and byline we are over with heading and byline now we'll come to the third part that is the body it consists of four to five paragraphs body it consists of 4 to 5 paragraphs so article writing it has got three parts first one is heading second one is byline and the third one is body now one by one i'll tell you what content to write in the body according to paragraphs para 1 it's about introduction it's about introduction you can write quotations or you can write startling facts in this one to attract the attention of the reader and it should be very brief means it should be written in 4 to 5 lines four to five 
lines. And the second para is about the analysis of the topic. This can be split in two paras. Para 3. So, para 2 and 3, it will contain the following topics. Types, causes, consequences, good or bad aspects. By good or bad aspects I mean merits and demerits. Then you can write problems. You can write your opinions. And then you can write the cause, effect, relationship. Cause effect relationship. Okay, it's not necessary that you have to touch all these subtopics. In para 2 and 3, you can take any of these two topics or three topics and you can discuss in para 2 and para 3. Now, para 4, it's about Suggestions and solutions. If you have any suggestions or if you have any solutions, you can write that in para 4. Okay, and then the last para that is para 5. It is a concluding para. It is a concluding para. Means you can sum up here. Sum up. And how you can sum up? That is you can give an advice. You can give a warning. Okay, I'll write here. An advice. A warning. Or you can simply give your point of view. point of view. And like the first para, this para number 5, it should also be very brief. 3 to 4 lines you can write. So these are the 5 paras and your article should contain at least 4 to 5 paragraphs. Now I will tell you how you can make your Article impressive. Okay, before that, I want to share one formula with you all that is co -der. This is the formula you have to keep in mind when you write the article. C means collecting ideas. So whenever you write an article, always you collect the ideas. And O here means organizing. You will organize those ideas, whatever you have in your mind. And D is drafting. You will draft those ideas. Collecting ideas, organizing them and then drafting them. And the next one is editing. Editing. Here you can keep some of the ideas and you can discard some. And then at the end, revising. This is the last step. You can revise all this. So, 
Coder. This is the formula you have to keep in mind when you write an article. Collecting ideas, organizing, drafting, editing and revising. Now I'll tell you how you can make your article writing impressive. Number one is be simple. Be simple here means that you do not have to describe so much. Do not be too descriptive. Do not be too descriptive. Don't simply go on writing. Keep that formula in mind. Organize your thoughts. And then you will find that you are not very descriptive. Then second one is keep clean. Keep clean. Keep clean here means you have to write it neatly. Do not simply do the cutting or do not scribble. You have to write it neat and you have to be very neat and tidy in this. Write neatly. Your writing should be very clear. One should be able to read your writing. And third one is use short sentences. Use short sentences. Do not use lengthy sentences because you are liable to make mistakes. Use very short sentences so that you will not make mistakes and you can secure good marks. Next is highlight the main points. Highlight the main points. Wherever you have used quotations or you have used certain thoughts, your opinions, if you feel that they are very important, you can highlight those. And last is word limit. Do not exceed the word limit. Don't simply go on writing. Stick to the word limit and 10 or 12 words will do. Extra words. But please do not write more than the word limit. Suppose you have to write it in 150 to 200 words but some of the students they go on writing and they reach the word limit 300 to 400. You should stick to the word limit. And now I'll give you an assignment for this week. Write an article on the following. I know students you are expecting me to give you only one article but I will give you two to three articles. So please complete this. Number one, save a girl, child. Number two, save water. And I think I should give you one more. Environmental protection. Students, I have given you these easy topics. Please write your own thoughts. Do not copy from anywhere. Organize them properly and hope you will do the assignment. Thank you.